Hello everyone, this is Matt with Amped Outdoors. In this video, we're gonna go through charging troubleshooting steps with your smaller form factor lithium iron phosphate batteries. So nine out of 10 times somebody reaches out to us saying their battery's not charging, it's typically something charging related and can easily be fixed. So in this video, we're gonna go through the proper steps to really test your charger to make sure that everything is working correctly to charge that battery, and get you back up and running again. So first thing, when you buy one of these batteries, make sure that you have the proper charger. With our 12.8 volt lithium iron phosphate batteries, you wanna make sure that you have our three amp 14.6 volt charger. Um, with our NMC batteries, we include a five amp or six amp 16.8 volt charger. Those are the only chargers you should be using with these. Also make sure that these chargers are not getting wet. So even though you might be using these in you know, an outdoor type environment, make sure that you keep your, your chargers in a cool, dry place. Also make sure that when you're not charging your battery, it's not connected to the battery itself and make sure it's not connected to the wall. It's just one of those things where by not being plugged in, they're less likely to get hit by a surge or dirty power or something like that. And so keep them in a cool, dry place, should be in good shape. So first thing we can do for testing the chargers, we wanna make sure that there's power going to the charger. So you wanna take your AC power cord, connect it directly to the wall. I would de definitely not recommend doing this step into an extension cord. Just make sure that you have it connected to the wall. From there, if it's getting proper power, the light will turn green on the charger itself. If it's not turning green, we want to take a look at a couple of things. Make sure that your connector is nice and tight going into the AC plug. And then also make sure that you have proper AC power from that outlet. It's very common that you might connect it to something where a breaker has been tripped or it's just a bad outlet. So make sure you have good AC outlet for testing this. Once that is green, then the next step is to make sure that you have good power coming out of the charger. So to do that, you want to have your voltmeter, select DC. Then from there, the connector that goes directly to the battery is where you want to test. So positive, positive, negative to negative on a 14.6 volt charger should be right around 14.6 volts. In my case here, I'm at 14.57. If I connect it to this NMC 16.8 volt charger, it should be right around that 16.8 volts for output. So if you're getting proper output there, we're in good shape. Now let's take a look at the battery. Disconnect everything from the battery itself. Make sure there's not some type of parasitic draw or something causing that battery not to charge. Um, also make sure that when you're charging, you're only using our charging cables. Aftermarket charging cables may have reverse polarity, so on, but you can test that with voltage. If it shows negative voltage, means you have wrong polarity connector. Make sure you're using our connectors, which are also going to be proper polarity every time. Once connected to the battery, light should be red. We're good to go. Now, if you connect it, it's not red then we're gonna to have to figure out what is actually going on. So if you're getting proper voltage here, not proper voltage here, then we gotta figure out what's going on. Reach out to us, sales at ampedoutdoors.com. Uh, you can email us, um, you can call us, and we can go through those troubleshooting steps. Um, oftentimes too, you'll find out you might not have voltage coming out of the plugs here. Then you can test it at the SAE port. You know, if these chargers get wrapped up, thrown to the side, it's not uncommon where maybe you have a pinch cable or something and just this little adapter's bad. That's a very easy fix and replacement. Um, if you're not getting proper voltage here, then we know that there's something wrong with the charger itself. All of our chargers come with a one year replacement warranty to them. Um, we do sell these chargers separate. So if your charger does go bad, it's a quick and easy replacement. So that's how to troubleshoot your actual battery itself. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us, sales at ampedoutdoors.com. Again, you can call us, you can send us live chat messages and somebody will be able to assist you with your uh, charging needs. So thank you for watching.